thought we touched it. Right? Mom? Mom? Mm -hmm. Can you help me find the, the Husker basketball? I mean the Cali B basketball. Oh. On here. On the iPad for a little bit. Right, right. I forgot about that. Daddy? Yeah? Is it go Wyoming, Dad? Go Wyo. At 3 o'clock? Yeah, go Wyo. Okay. Keith County mm -hmm. building permits. Lori? Mm -hmm. Dave and Susan Argo, number 12. Rapala, North Shore Lodge, Cardport, $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> they got it in there. Coming. Black Hills. Yeah. Well, what Black Hills, Dan? Oh, no, I'm just talking smack, buddy. Nothing important. There it is. Inside the Arena Auditorium in Laramie, Wyoming, where this afternoon the Wyoming Cowboys play host to the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions. Wyoming in the second season under head coach Jeff Leonard looking to notch their second win of the season. Welcome to the broadcast, everyone. Alongside Steve Gosar, I'm Ryan Biggs. And Steve, it's been a tough stretch for Pine Bluff to start the year, and Wyoming looking to continue their momentum after a big win in their opener. Oh, absolutely. Arkansas Pine Bluff's going to start a lot of their season on the road, and the Cowboys looking to keep continuing on the impressive opening that they had the other night. They systematically dismantled Detroit on both sides of the ball, and I tell you, looking just to get a little bit better and get you know look ahead to you know Washington in the next game. It's now time for Star Watch, presented by Union Wireless. Steve, who are our players? There's nobody. Watching. Indiana. You know, Arkansas Pine Bluffs. We've got Indiana is not too Trace big Samson a volleyball team. He's a very no, talented, no. low block player. Although he really likes to pick and pop, he's going to shoot a lot of threes, but very athletic. And on the defensive side, he's going to have to deliver on the offensive side. And oh, the that's all right. You got to go through the a lot. The Cowboys for him, EK. Uh, Graham E.K., the Cowboys went to him the very first possession, set the tone for the season. He delivered early, he delivered often. And if, if the Cowboys are going to be as good as we hope that they can be this year, Graham E.K. has to be a big force for them inside. Steve, you never want to look ahead or this early in the season. Wyoming has a big match Thursday at Washington, but they got to be careful. This is a pesky Pine Bluff team that gave Creighton and Colorado State trouble. This is a pesky wow, Pine Bluff really? team. This is a team that led for a good majority of the game against Creighton on the road. Colorado State developed a big lead and then kind of let their guard down, and Arkansas Pine Bluffs cut the lead right on back, and so you're exactly right. They're going to shoot a lot of early shots. A lot of quick shots and maybe shots that the Cowboys don't expect. But the Cowboys have to be disciplined both sides of the ball. And if they will, if they'll execute, I think the Cowboys get a good win today. We've got a great matinee for you in Laramie, Wyoming. Coming up on the Mountain West Network, it's Wyoming and Arkansas Pine Bluff. Straight ahead.
Mom. Smoke, mom. Yeah, they got some smoke machines. What? Why, mom? Atmosphere creates a cool look. Looks cool. That was slammed in. Yeah, the keys to the game tonight, you know, for Arkansas Pine Bluffs is transition offense. They're looking to shoot early threes. They'll shoot a lot of them. If they can get a good look out of the transition, they'll take it. And they have more ball screens with Williams. Look for the Cowboys to switch those. Williams is going to have a big man on him, like 100 times as a Graham E.K. And you know what? Look to see them try to take advantage of it. Oh, good oh. sir. Mm -hmm. Graham E.K. is going to have to be mm -hmm. double teamed down there. There's good no game any size on Arkansas Pine Bluffs team that can Guard him one-on-one. -on -one. The, the Cowboys paint touches. Throw it into EK. Let him get some baskets. Oh, yeah. Discipline. They, Gotta be disciplined on both sides of the ball. ball. Getting backstopped in mm -hmm. that early transition offense of the Arkansas Pine Bluffs. And then, offensively, don't take quick shots. Just throw it in and pound it into the paint. And then, long shots, early shots. Those are long rebounds. Those are unexpected rebounds. The Cowboys got to do a great job of cleaning the glass tonight. One and done. If they'll do that, I tell you what, I think they'll build <laughs> they got a student, student section, all right. Look at their student <laughs> section. <laughs> it's like five guys. <laughs> five dorky guys. Yeah, five they, dorky guys. Maybe they bring too much last night. We got, we got the, 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 the rebound. Contested three ball late in the shot clock, and, and the Cowboys just, everybody had a, had a body uh, that like on Arkansas Pine Bluff play. play. Cell, down low to EK. Wyoming going to work this matchup early and often, although first shot's no good for EK. Mm -hmm. Brown in transition, kicks it back out. Samson, back to Brown. Brown, over to Morris, and his three ball's good. This Arkansas Pine Bluff team is Mom. mobile on the perimeter. Mm -hmm. Every one of those guys can put the ball on the deck and give a step. Sure, you know, he's got to go through a whole defense. bunch of contortions. Oh, okay. That's fine. Just a minute. Just take back <clears> the <throat> Pine Bluff gets a hand on it, and they're in transition. We're behind, Mom. Oh, no. Dad? Okay. We're behind. Okay. One thing about Arkansas Pine Bluffs, I can see it on that play right there. Between the foul lines, they really got that ball up the court and put a lot of pressure on that Cowboy defense getting back. Daquan Morris, the senior guard from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, misses his first free throw. Pine Bluff. Too, Steve, they were definitely <clears throat> taking their time in those first couple of possessions, not rushing. Which is 
pretty uncharacteristic. When they played against Creighton, they only had five possessions that actually went below 10 seconds in the shot clock. They played so this is yeah, characteristic. Yeah, only three. But I loved it. Or it was in trouble, right? They don't think so, but... Maldonado. They say they're pesky. Huh. Skate in the defense, feeds it out to Ike on the perimeter. Working down low. Big fellas, they played Creighton High and Colorado State. State. They might have... Whoa, that was quite the serve. They push it for Pine Bluff. They lost to CSU, too. I don't know if they won that one, or... They said they came from behind Williams. and caught up, but I don't know if they the won it or not. Oh. Drake Jeffries draws a charge. You're right. I just want to see some. And Steve Pine Bluff, I was looking to see not a very deep team. It's not on there. So that's something to watch. Doesn't say what the record. A player like Sean Williams gets in foul trouble. That's going to be difficult for Solomon Bozeman and his team. You know, it's going to have to. It's going to rely and make them do something different than they've already done. You know what? They're trying to There's do that. There's SpongeBob the back right here, there. Some kind of Starbucks mm -hmm. shopping. The ball out of ball <laughs> they still think it's Halloween. The, the Cowboy offense works a lot better when the ball is in his hands. Wyoming like that one. Yeah. Doing it himself that possession to ban the harm as Wyoming gets on the board. He finally scored. Yeah. As the quintessential old man's game. I mean, he can take you outside. He can take you down to the block and back you down and score it. And he is such a fun to, uh, player to watch. High basketball IQ. Maldonado, 6'7", senior. The leader of this Cowboy team coming off a game which you had 19 points, 9 assists yeah. against Detroit Mercy. There's Samson. Spin move. Kicks it out to Brown. Brown's three. No good. Rebound to Sal. Pine Bluff will shoot the three ball. That's for sure. They had 35 attempts from three in their first game. 37 attempts from That just three totally sets the shams off right yeah. there. There is one. Great pass from Graham E.K. in that high post there. He hit a ball screen, he rolled off and got the ball, and he hit Odin, you know, for a nice back cut. The Cowboys capitalized on that the other night. Let's go home, about right? points. You're not even uh, going to call a timeout. And Odin just got a little too excited and chopped his feet. And, uh, Maybe he doesn't have any. Daquan Morris a little shaken up. He's going to have to head to the bench. Take a little breather. Gabriel Vargas will check in for him. Big collision with Graham E.K. Oh. And if you're going to collide with Graham E.K., you're going to might have been out. <laughs> Especially when you're 6'4". Sure, and you look good. 90 on a good day. Pine Bluff. Still Twelve more to go. <laughs> <You're very cold. laughs> Speaking of going up against E.K. And Samson's not going to win that battle. I think Samson thought he was going to be able to take that up as EK wasn't right there. When he turned around, EK was there, and it got a little, uh, I think it made him try to get a second uh, second thought about taking that Out. ball up against EK. A little pressure from the Golden Lions here and trying to slow down the Wyoming offense a little bit. Ducell, top of the key, nothing but that. Great pass by Graham EK. Mm. Ducell had his feet set, mm -hmm. inside out pass from the post. That's an easy basket for yeah. Xavier Ducell. Oh no. What? We're in the, she ran yeah. into the net. Yeah. Yeah. She ran into the net. Which Samson had Hunter Maldonado in the post. They just couldn't get down to it. Good hands by the Cowboy defense. Take another look at the three. Interesting. She served like I do. Dussel can stroke it, that's for sure. Last year, led the team with 57 three pointers. That ranked sixth. Nationally, I'm on all freshmen. Hmm. She went under the net. Shot is no good. Rebound. She went flying and went yeah. under the net. I don't know. She tripped or something. Brandon Brown on Hunter Maldonado. Good defense here by the Golden Lions. To start the possession. Nice feed down to Ek, and that's an easy two. You just can't let him catch the ball that deep in the paint. He's going to score nearly every time. How big is that then? EK. 6'10", I think. Sean Williams, it's on Facebook. They've got so some 6'11". They guy. 
So they said he was a forward. No, we did. Really rushed that one. Find uh, some six eleven guys. Quick shots and just find it. Yeah. Williams had 26 against Colorado State on Friday. A foul on Pine Bluff. We'll take a media timeout and head to break. Wyoming with an early lead over the Golden Lions, seven to four. Commercial break. Mm. It should have been over by now, Dalton. Ketchup. Someone's being ketchup. <laughs> That's about the most pathetic student section I've ever seen. <laughs> I thought they touched it. Should have been the end, but they got it up. There. There. All right, Vega, you want that plug in the TV? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, let's wait. Keep watching, because i got to find it on here. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> Lord knows how long it'll take. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where's my cursor? <laughs> Trying to take it's funny?